after we will see that how to create a dns server and uh, how to set a domain name in our local vm also how to create a subdomain name okay so i'm show you a quick example that's how it will work and what i'm going to do right now so like i'm using my vm uh, my vm ip is 192.168.0.110 so, so as you can see it's a testing mail server and the HTTP is so HTTP service is running so that's why we can access from this from browser and uh, I want to use a domain name rather than an IP so if I type here you can dot home so you can see that we can access the same VM just using the domain name also we can set a subdomain like www.zoom at home see the same thing is happening okay <coughs> so let me just clear thing www.zoom.com see 110 is pinging for DNS server we are going to use my another VM the VM IP is 104 so here we will configure the DNS server okay so first what you have to do just install bind and bind utils so I already installed uh, these two services so I don't have to install anymore just let me show you the command Here you can see that I already installed these two services and the next step is go to etc directory and just open the named conf file after the open this file you have to find the option block On the option block you can see the listen on port on there you have to put your server IP and then you have to uh, put your IP series with a prefix number on a allow query and also you can use the allow transfer for use a secondary DNS server but I comment it because I'm not I don't want to don't going to use a secondary DNS server so that's why I just comment this line and then just go down uh, then you can find a zone block I created three zone block okay one is uh, dns.org another is uh, my dns.org a third is uh, sukhan.home so these three zone blocks mean three domain name so you can create uh, multiple domain name in here so for the multiple domain name you have to create multiple zone block okay so if you see uh, only if you if you, if you focus on in only one zone uh, block you can see the in a file parameter there is a file name called forward.sukin okay and also if you see on dns.org zone you'll see the file name is forward.dns okay so you have to create a forward file for each and every uh, domain name and you have to create one reverse dns file which i already created you can see but uh, just take a snapshot you have to create the reverse dns file same like that mean if your IP is 192.168.0.1, so you have to type in reverse like 0 0.168.192, but do not type your host IP, okay? Only the network address 192.168.0, not 1, okay? So, okay, well, you have to create one reverse DNS file and for multiple domain name you have to create multiple zone block with a 
multiple forward DNS file. Okay, so now we will move forward. After you create all this thing, just uh, save this file and exit. And then let me show you that how I created that forward.dns file or the forward.sukn file. You can see the forward.dns file and also the forward.sukn file. So just let me open this file. So as you can see in the forward.dns file there is a IP is already there already created two subdomain called master and tw so that's it nothing else so you can create in multiple subdomain in here next I will show you that what in suken a uh, forward.suken file the both file are same but just simple different in this file as you can see that at the rate in space a and then the IP name so this is 110 that means it's a different VM another VM so at the end mean as you know it will just use uh, the sukan.home and ww is subdomain name it is also an A type record. So, now we will see reverse.dns file. So, my favorite editor is Swim reverse.dns file. So, as you can see here, type of record like PTR type record and A type record, and that's it. Okay. So second thing is you have to open your uh, DNS port so as you all know DNS port is 63 so let me set up the firewall so just type this command firewall minus cmd zone public at port 53 slash tcp okay so you have to open tcp and udp port Okay. please make it permanent and after that you have to reload you have to run the reload command or a firewall reload command then it will be permanent okay. yes. so here you can see that firewall uh, list or something is wrong in there maybe it's a spelling mistake so as you can see here the 53 tcb port and 53 udb ports are open also you can use another comment to check where your port is open or not just type netstat and space minus and anti lab as you can see that the two ports are open uh, sorry 53 port port are open now just run the dns service the dns service name is name so just type system ctl start named if there is a no error that means it's running okay there's a no problem if it is not started so that means there is some problem so how do how actually you will find the problem you have to type the system CTL status then you can see the what kind of problem it is after that you have to disable the AC Linux so I already disabled this AC Linux after disable AC Linux you have to reboot your uh, VM or computer
after reboot your server you have to give some permission okay some group permission like that as you can see i already uh, copy noted down all the command and yes ch on so i'm using minus v for burgers as you know okay after give permission you can restart your service again so they will affect so after configure the dns server you have to open your uh, router or your home wifi router just log into your home wifi router okay after login just go to dhcp option and type your dns server ip in a primary dns server and on a secondary dns server will be your global dns ip then you can see i just open my laptop uh, terminal to ping the server so i am pinging all the dns server from my laptop terminal Google also pinging. Thanks for watching.